go. Hey, let's go. Oh. I already have to pause because I laughed too hard through my nose and snotted, so give me a second. <laughs>
We'll leave it at that. So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like a, literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up, my girl goes. So I think earlier in this special, he had a bit about how his girlfriend went out and like, just got this dog without telling him about it and it ended up being like a pit bull and he talked about learning about how a dog uh picks up on like your emotions and mm -hmm. will mimic it so yeah. like he's talked about like how he has a quick temper so he'll get pissed and then like the dog is like <laughs> pissed off so that's what he's referring to there sweetheart sweetheart can you do me a favor can you do me a favor can, can you walk the dog for me can you uh just take the shift you know i'll do your afternoon shift can you just do me this solid can you do this for me and she's just like oh <laughs> You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20-minute explanation <laughs> that eventually winds its way around to go, fuck yourself. Just say no. So I'm just you limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> so now I'm, like, limping down the street. I got, like, Tourette's. Fuck, goddamn bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod. I don't think he meant, like, do whatever the hell you wanna do and fuck me. Because every guy out there would take that. <laughs> I think he meant... <laughs> Fuck me, as in, like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. On full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, work like a charm. <laughs> work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. <laughs> oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So There's I knew what she was saying. It's like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. <laughs> so I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poo! Slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up. <laughs> Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? I think, like, every guy can relate to that part. Not Maybe not the slap in the headphones, but, like... I think all of us have that point where it's, like, caveman DNA coming up. Like, if you don't Snap. stop, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking explode. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's even women have some of that too, oh, but yeah. the way they explained it, caveman DNA yeah. is just makes funny because no that's what it it literally makes you feel that way. Like that you can feel the adrenaline mm -hmm. coming. That's why, like, when you do uh, when people train in like jujitsu or like boxing and stuff like that, or even karate, they always try to teach you like the first thing to learn is to try and keep your temper because once you lose your temper, you're it's over. Yeah. <laughs> you're done. You're yeah. cooked. Yeah. Put them on third time. She comes up. Poof, slaps him right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. And she's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. And just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? 
Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the big and you're like walking mistake, around yeah. like I'm not fucking taking a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Never open your mouth in a comedy show. Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're going to like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? <laughs> Just answer him! Answer him! <laughs> Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. <laughs> and I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I love this. I'm not even in a relationship. All right, we'll pause there. We're on more than halfway through, but uh, I don't. Does it, do you recognize him at all? I voice don't. or anything? No. What do you think of it so far? That's no, good. It is funny. He's just basically, he's breaking it down into, like, the most basic form of, like, the words. Like, mm -hmm. no reason. Like, he's not saying there's not any reason. Just, you just don't, you just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> With her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> he's like rattled. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> how did this snake get so mad? His it almost killed you. Too. Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. <laughs> they sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start <laughs> swinging, all right? Tuna casserole. I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, Ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? <laughs> they understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? <laughs> you know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never yeah, ask right anything about that. You know, I'm not wall. saying he should have yeah. done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? <laughs> 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 oh my God, Baskin Robbins, <laughs> You know? No, that's not what we're doing. Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. <laughs> right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh, my God, I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. <laughs> I thought of the microphone. <laughs> Now, fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. Sacramento kings of men. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, so here's his theory. You'll have to let us know if it's accurate or not. Okay. <laughs> In my experience, it has been, but it could be different for you. <laughs> Tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. <laughs> they start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And yeah. in their head, they just start Mom's concocting Martin. this evil statement. Evil statement. Totally designed. This desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> That's what it is. 
and cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start yep. the argument. Now it's not about that one. Well, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> You're in this room now. <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old. Sleeping on you the know, couch. Grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, <laughs> just screaming up at the younger couple. Turn it down! That isn't music! <laughs> So like I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know where she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> the next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you, you learn anything it. from my ignorance tonight, just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, <laughs> slip all of that shit. Maybe because you, you got a little dick, just let that slide <laughs> and stay in the pocket of the argument. Talks like a boxing match. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? <laughs> yes, lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. Yeah, and then in the you end, you throw this psychology <laughs> right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. <laughs> rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to replay there, but uh, that was Bill Burr. No reason to hit a woman. How women argue. What, what were your thoughts on his theory there? I um, seen you nodding a little bit. Yeah, he's kind of right. <laughs> he's kind of right. That means he is right, but she doesn't want to fully admit it. <laughs> no, I know. I'll admit it. <laughs> to a certain extent. That that what's always been uh, my experience, anyways. Mm. My limit, my limited uh, relationship experience <laughs> there. But uh, yeah, overall, what did you think of them? Pretty funny. I think he was good. Yeah, yeah he's hilarious. Yeah. He's easily one of the top stand-up comedians, and probably in the world right now. He'd be up there with like. Dave Chappelle, I'd say, in terms of popularity. Nice. And, um, yeah, those are probably the top ones that I can think of. Any others, let me know in the comments down below. Joe Coy. Joe Coy, yeah, that's another Joe good Coy. one there. Yeah, that'd be a good one to go to. That's another good one. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, me having Mom check out some different stuff here. We'll have a couple more random things, some funny videos to check out for Mom here on the channel. So lots of belly laughs to come make sure you thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet but uh for mom america once again and we'll see you again real soon have a good night